This is a middle school science fair project that I made. It doesn't actually do anything useful, but it looks kind of complicated, so apparently that was enough for the judges. So it did okay. Basically, all this thing does is it takes 12 volt power in here, and it runs it through this light bulb. The entire purpose of the light bulb is just to drop the voltage down uh, because the 12 volts is too much for the motor. So that drops the voltage down to something acceptable for this. This motor turns through this coupling here and turns this motor which then generates electricity, which is used by either this motor or this light bulb through these two switches. So really it doesn't do anything, and all this does is cover up the light bulb because that's not actually part of the project. It's just a, uh, a cheap way to make a resistor, or an easy way. So if you turn it on, it'll spin the motor and start generating power, and you can see the light bulb is lit. So what we can do is we can then test the voltage at the various points. You'll see we should have about roughly 12 volts here coming from the battery. Then it runs through the light bulb, and this is the easiest point to measure the voltage out of that. We'll see it's about, about four volts going into the motor. And then over here at the generator side, we see that there's a little bit over three volts. Okay, and then if I turn on these different motors here, you can see how it pulls down as it draws current. I can turn on the light bulb, same thing, or I can turn on both, and it really pulls it down. Now what I'll do here is I'll, I'll put on some alligator clips here, and I can measure the output voltage now from this motor. I think I just shorted it out there for a second. Okay, so about 0.5 volts. Now it's just lighting the light bulb at about 1.9, and there's kind of the steady state voltage of it. So you can see how it pulls down, it's pretty cool. I can actually take these covers off, this is just so grubby little middle schoolers don't get their fingers all over it. These motors are actually out of some kind of medical equipment, and these are little impellers used for a pump. Here's a few more spare ones. Makes a pretty good little toy.